Welcome back you guys. It's Jason and I today and we are going to take care of the tree. I'm really excited, but as usual, I got on Pinterest last night and realized I wanted to make a little box to go around the base of the tree. I've never had that before and I also didn't want to spend any more any money on it. So I was trying to like look up cheap ways to do it and all that kind of stuff and I realized that I have cheap wood free. So I actually just going to use the back side. I don't want the words showing on this box. So I'm just going to have that the back side of that board showing and then I think I might sand it down a little bit and stain it cuz that'll match more of the other stuff that we've got here. And we're only going to do three sides to it, I think. Cuz the back side isn't visible. But we're going to run out and do that. My friend is actually bringing over two more of her boards. I asked her last night if I could have two more cuz okay, so I guess we're setting up the tree. We actually set it up at the party that I did the other night, so it's not a true like unboxing new for the first time, but actually that's kind of good because the first time we pulled it out, we got the middle section attached and it didn't work. And we were, I was like, no way, I <laughs> did not spend all this money to not have a tree work. So we figured out um, what, work, what was wrong with it. It's one of those new trees where you don't have to plug the two sections together. You literally just put the, um, you just attach it into the hole and it does the electric work. We'll show you. So you'll see when we put this together, there's no cord to attach. It's all in the end of the stem right here. Okay, so I'm not gonna do it now because we've gotta go to Costco and our friend is coming over to get the wood and whatnot. So I've got these sprigs and I, when I tested it at the church, I didn't cut these top ones, but they definitely like stick out the other side of the tree when you put them in. So I've got to cut them down, but I'll fiddle with this when Jason's got something else to do. But see how they like, you know, and it, this isn't a good spot, but they'll just kind of add to the tree and then you actually do one on top. So it would actually like give some more height to the top of the tree. We'll have to straighten out the top of that tree there. Yeah, it's, it's not straight. Let's see if I, fiddle with this a little bit more then and get some extra branches in between it just adds and there's little pine cones on this it just kind of adds an extra dimension to the tree it's kind of fun I don't know overall I just I think it's a really cute tree I wish it was a nine foot but I do like the fullness of the tree and I think we're gonna add more lights to it as well we have a ton of lights that we bought and one of the ones that I like the most are the little ball LED lights. They kind of just add a different texture to the lights on the tree and as you saw, like, or maybe I, you couldn't see, but in between each layer, kind of the inner core doesn't have lights on it and that's where these little ball lights add an extra effect when you put them inside the tree. And that's kind of hard to do on a real tree. But with this one, we can take the top off and we can line that whole inner circle with extra light. It's just, it's very fun. So I'm gonna, we're gonna go out the garage now, I guess, and I can cut the wood so they don't, you don't get <coughs> wood chips in your hair. When I get back home, I'm gonna fiddle with like the extra stuff on the tree and I might start putting the set ornaments on there that I want and kind of see how many I want. Fortunately, it's not going to be, like I said in the other, the other day, it's not going to be like a kid's decorate Christmas tree. So, he's not going to be happy about that. He doesn't know about that. Alright, so we've got our little pieces of wood here. We're going to cut this one into three pieces for one of the sides. We got some of the boards cut, but we're waiting on my friend to come over. Um, so we're gonna nail the, each of the kind of panels together with little one bys, but we're gonna inset them about an, a, you know, wood depth like that, so they're not visible from the outside. And we can then we can put this. Let this will be the next board that goes back into the tree. That'll be the side panel. So this is actually the side panel and this one here will be the front panel 
I made the front panel a little bit wider just to make sure it has room for the feet. So we're missing the third one on this one right here. And then the other side panel. We're just gonna do three sides. All right, so I'm having to hold this. So Jason's got the camera. But we're basically putting the box together, putting the three sides together. So I'm holding them up here and then Jason's going to, what are you gonna do, nail it from? From this side here. We're gonna go this in side here. In, and then we'll turn it and nail it from the other way. And then way. we'll nail it the other way so it secures it better. Okay. All right, it's all done. Doesn't look very spectacular <laughs> sitting like this. So we're trying, oops, we're trying to decide if we're needing a cross piece at least to kind of make sure these don't warble. But I think once it's under the tree, it's not gonna really move. And I think, I don't know, I think the carpet will keep it pretty taking care of your tools. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, hun. All right, so now the trick is to get it into the tree without breaking it. <laughs> Super satisfied with that. I love it. With that, I love it. <laughs> Could you even say half of that with more enthusiasm? <coughs> it's just such a nice touch. I need to get some food for that boy. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Are you really taking the whole box? What are you doing? 13 might be a little too much. <laughs> you think? 13? Are you buying this or am I? 10 of them is 60 bucks, 70 bucks. Merry Christmas, dude. What? <laughs> you have a problem. I'm gonna put them in a certain place. I will ration them. So you can't let me lock them up? No. So we're laughing because all Jason got was toilet paper and those s'mores and paper towels. Yep. And his, he spent 112 and I spent 110. So he spent money on toilet paper and chocolate. And then he, Where are we at? I don't know. We're down here. I think we're down here. We can't find our car. We were like, well, in one there. Oh, it's right here. It's right in front of us. In one and out the other. That's all he bought. Get it coming and going. Yep, I gotta find the key. No. Oh, it's right here. I'll beat you, you're slow. Whatever. <laughs> Drop me off to get a haircut, and then you can take it all home, unload it, and come back at the perfect timing. <laughs> nope. Or I could drop you off and run and get some more sprigs at Michael's and come back. <coughs> we live in a forest. Why don't you just go get it out of the I've forest? I thought about that, actually. I thought about getting some branches and putting them in. So I, I'll give you that. I might do that. Um, so the best way to get there. But you're next for, we'll drop you off. No matter what, we'll drop you off to get a haircut, but I'm not gonna go and unload all that by myself. Oh. Sorry. I just have faith in you. Oh, so I have faith in myself. I don't wanna son. underestimate your abilities, so I just figured <laughs> you could do it. Oh, such a supportive husband you yeah, are. I am supportive. You know, with your race car gloves on. It's chilly outside. Maybe I should get him some new gloves for Christmas. Oh, I could, these are getting a little bit a little bit. They're kind of embarrassing, bright. actually. But these I use for climbing and stuff, too, whenever I'm not sick and to get out and hike and stuff. These are awesome. Okay, would you like to get new car gloves? I don't, I don't need car gloves. I don't and, need driving gloves. Then why I do have, you wear those? Because it's cold. Like, I don't need gloves just for driving. That's a total waste. No, but these I'm asking you. Okay, like but that's not what I'm asking you. 
I'm not asking you for multi-purpose gloves. Would you like gloves to wear in the car? No. So how is that different than saying, do you want I want car gloves, gloves that I can like climb with and do things with that, yes, also can be used in the car. But if it, you get gloves just for the car, they'll be worthless for pretty much my entire life, except the car. These just happen to be gloves that, yes, I can use to drive with. How much of this should I cut out, folks? <laughs> Don't know what... Then you're gonna have to help me research yes, what type worry, of gloves to get. Think of it as, a, I know, think of it like, as a Christmas decoration, or a decoration that's not just for Christmas, it's for multiple holidays. Thank you for the clarification, because I didn't understand it before. Yeah. I just don't know what that glove looks like, thank you. I know, that's why I'll probably get it. That's why, didn't I say that earlier? That's like, why we create it. Amazon wish lists. No, that's why we need to go and just find them and stuff. I'm just saying, that's why you like, be you're specific about what you want so that we don't get it wrong good I'm not I don't need them for Christmas okay I'm gonna end this conversation there's a before haircut so despite Jason not wanting me to go buy sprigs I went and bought two they were 60% off when I got them for the first time and they're $10 normally so they were only like four dollars a piece so they're 50% off now I was like, I don't know. Sometimes when it's like under $5, it like plays with your head. You're like, oh, I can get more. But I just got two more because I just feel like I need to fill up a little bit more of the front section of it. I was kind of putting them on each side and I felt like I needed one or two more in the middle. And then we've been debating because we want to get gingerbread houses. Our kids are now good enough at doing gingerbread houses, especially Abby and Kaylee, they're older and they don't like sharing because they're very particular about how they want to do their house and I totally get it. So I've wanted to get at least four of them for each one of them to have their own and like have a whole afternoon of just doing gingerbread houses, obviously like in a couple weeks. It'll be like $40 just for their four houses because they're always like $10 a box. But I also want one myself. <laughs> so like, and then Jason, I was just talking to him about them because we saw them at Costco for $10. And he was like, well, I want one. If you're going to do it for you, I want one. Hang on, I got to drive. So then I was like, well, I can't afford $60 just for gingerbread houses that you're going to end up throwing away. And so I got the idea at Michael's to just go ahead and get them using the 50% coupon that you can get on their app or whatever. But it's just technically candy. And I'm so irritated so that you can't use that coupon. So I, anyway, I picked up the barn one. I mean, so at least I have one. <laughs> I might go back and get that kit that had four in it, except Abby's not gonna like that she has a little one. She's gonna want a big one. So is Kaylee. So now I'm stuck again, but at least I got one. All right, so taking the tree back apart. Luckily it's easy to do. And now we're adding more lights to the center, like core of it, and then bringing it out to the edge just a little bit. So I like these little round balls. And this is the one that comes on the tree. See that one there? And we're gonna add this kind right there. So if you can kind of see along the back side, maybe there's just kind of blank spots kind of through the core of the tree that we're just adding lights to and then if bringing the it out to the, the edge. Tree, I should just focus on the front. You can see the back from the window. Well, I'll get over there so, once we get to the window. Yeah. We should add the second layer so I can go up here. Yeah, okay, I'll grab it. Okay, add a layer. So here, I'll show you from this side. See how it's totally blank in the center versus the outside? You can see that from the outside of the tree. You kind of see that the middle is kind of hollow. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> Well, I mean, it seems fitting. He did start eating his s'mores, and now we have toilet paper to use. Looks lots better. I like it. So, now, he's almost at the, t oh, there you go. All right, so now he can go watch Hunger Games, and I'm gonna add, <laughs> I'm gonna add my little picks <coughs> to the tree. After a lot of finessing and working those branches in, 
They're really subtle, which is what I like. There's a little pine cone branch right there. You probably couldn't even see it from a distance. Tucked them all in and all the way down. It's really subtle and I just, I love how it filled it up. Um, you know, and it's gonna take a little bit of kind of finessing, but I can actually see why you'd wanna get like a ton of these branches if you were needing the tree to be seen from the back as well, but I really love it. And I especially love the top, how I, I added height, but like it's not sticking straight up. So it kind of just looks more like, I don't know, from the top, but um, my arms are all rashed out now. Jason actually did all the lights and fluffed the tree, but even just putting those branches in, I'm a, I've a broken out in hives. So I'm gonna go wash my arms. I'm gonna let the kids decorate, but I have the decorations down here on the floor. Let me show you. So I've kind of got the decorations in their different categories. This is how I bag them up to pack them away anyway. So I've got, I've got all the mittens and the little socks and reds and the whites there. And then I've got these guys here. And like these are kind of like my fabric-y ones. I made all these ones. This is our family picture from how many years ago? What does it say? I don't know. It, usually it has the year on it. Um, Ashley wasn't there, so <laughs> it's been a couple years. And then I've just got more decorations in here. Then I've got these ones. I made these ones. These are quilt balls. And then I've got my wooden ones back here. Actually, that's the tree topper. I could put that on, but it's kind of fun to let the kids do that. And then I've only got one more red strand left. I've been to Michael's like three times trying to find more of those, and I haven't found any yet. And then I've got some more ornaments in this little box and in this bag. I haven't fully decided if I'm going to use these ones. I'm not in love with tons of those ones, so I'm going to just see how these ones look on the tree so far. And that's how many lights we have left <laughs> after not using them on the tree. Um, those ones are not outdoor lights, but these ones are. So these ones are going to go up on the house, hopefully on Sunday. Jason will feel good. And then we have these guys here that I'm trying to decide if I want to use them or not. And then Jason found these lights at our store he got a couple years ago and isn't going to use them. So I'm trying to decide if I put these outside. <laughs> I don't, I mean I like my white lights outside, but these are kind of fun. I don't know. I know the kids will totally dig them. Like so them in the room if they don't. I think I might put them outside. They're kind of cool colors. I like how they kind of take on multiple colors per leaf. That's kind of fun. Or they're snowflakes. <laughs> they're not leaves. So their reaction to the tree wasn't very much. Where's Ashley? Here, do you like it? Yeah. Do you like the tree? Yeah. Are you going to go play? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, you two need to put your bags away I'm really gonna, quick. I'm no, right. Uh, yeah. Luna no. can wait. <laughs> Say hi, Luna. Look at your cute little coat. I know, I'm not really a huge fan of down. dogs down. jumping on me. Oh, Luna, no. 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 So Jason and I kind of both got busy. I was working on the computer and he was, oh, hang on. Kind of paying bills online and, um, and the kids, oh, hang on. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> That's a copyright for sure. That is uh, U2's newest song. It just came out yesterday, I think. At least that was the first time I had seen or heard of it. Um, anyway, I can't wait for U2 to go on, on tour. Um, I don't think they're going on tour with this single. They're just going to India. It's like a whole cause. Like, I'm sure it's raising money for kids in India or something. But I haven't looked into it too very much. So we kind of got busy and we realized it was already 6.30, but Kaylee and Abby have both gone to different friends' houses and they're, they were invited for dinner. And so we knew that if we just didn't hurry and get something for ourselves to eat, then Chelsea and Ashley would want to go out to eat. <laughs> and so we resisted at lunchtime from getting Cafe Rio, but I was really in the mood for it tonight. So, but that's lunch for both of us tomorrow. So. You know, double whammy. You know me. I like double purposes. So then I promised the girls I would get them a red box. So I've rented, um, I think I got them Lion King. And then I got myself um, yesterday because I only watched half of that show on the plane when we went down to Utah. Sorry, I'm gonna hit a car. I'm not careful. 
And so I wanted to finish it, watching it, and then I got the, the Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, because I never went to the theater and saw that. So I think I'll watch that one tomorrow afternoon, because it's kind of a safer show if the kids happen to be around. And I'm hoping, hoping to be more caught up tomorrow afternoon. Um, we will have a ton of chores to do in the morning, and I've already done most of the laundry. I think I only have one load of laundry to do, which I might stick in the laundry tonight. So I'm hoping to have a kind of a calm day tomorrow and then I can watch that movie tomorrow. So let's go and get some Redbox movies. So Chelsea and Ashley and Jace are out here. They just took their friend home. I'll show you the lights we put up outside today that we found at the store and then we're gonna say goodnight to you.